Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat, this video is sponsored by my boy Fats Classic, this mixtape is in the description box, it is absolutely free, definitely give him a download, give him a listen, and this video is sponsored by my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG at we or from, now Jamal Charlo, Got a victory over Brandon Adams in the main event on Showtime. And he was able to go to 412, got some rounds in. Brandon Adams, he fought well. Let, let me not get that confused. Like, he fought as well as he could. He could be a difficult opponent for a lot of different guys. But he never gave me the impression that he was winning rounds, let alone threatening to win the fight it was basically a match for jamal charlo to stay busy like that's the epitome of what we call a stay busy fight and that's no disrespect to brandon adams is really a credit to jamal charlo like <laughs> like jamal charlo is funny man like like you never see this dude smiling like he don't ever look happy like he don't ever look happy at all. Like if if you're familiar with the show Martin, one of the classic TV sitcoms of all time, they used to have an old dude on there. They used to call him Angry Man because he never smiled. He was always he was always angry. He used to tell Martin, Go, "Sit your dumb ass down." Like that's like that's Jabal Charlo. Like that's that's Angry Man. Or if you're familiar with the Mad Rapper in the uh music industry in the hip-hop world like you're familiar with the mad rapper like that's jabal charlo like dude just angry like all the time like in the build-up to the brandon adams fight it looked like he didn't want to be there they was asking him questions he was just like eh. like all right you know let me just get his answer real quick like <laughs> jabal charlo was hilarious but what's next for jamal charlo and the answer to that is who knows? Who knows? He is at a he is at a dead end right now. He can't get the Canelo fight. He can't get a Triple G fight. He can't get a Jaime Munguia fight. He can't get a Danny Jacobs fight. He can't get a Demetrius Andre fight. Like he is literally at a dead end at 160. Like what is he going to do? at 160 like all he can do right now is take stay busy fights and when you take stay busy fights they are high risk very little reward you can get injured you can get hurt you know you could lose the mental aspect and possibly be in a tight fight that you shouldn't be in jamal charlo literally might have to go to 168 like, all of the action is at 168. And because of the political landscape and just fighters just not being available at 160, I mean, Jamal Charlo really has nowhere to go. Like, he moved up from 154 because he said it was too hard for him to make the weight. At 168, like, he's a he would be a big fish in a very big pond. Like, 168 got some killers. 168 got some very, very talented fighters. And I would love to see Jamal Charlo at 168, but only if he's only if he's ready to go to 168. Like it would be disappointing to see Jamal Charlo having to go to 168 because he can't get opponents at 160. But it looks like that might be the case. I'm hoping that Canelo Alvarez steps up, but that looks like that's not the case. We hope Triple G steps up, but it looks like that's not the case. Even other guys at 160, the politics is getting in the way. So you might see Jamal Charlo fighting more opponents like Brandon Adams for the foreseeable future unless he goes up to 168. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.